Greetings, Eric Baker, naturopath from New Zealand. Thanks for coming back. We're going to talk about side effects of parasite cleansing. So you need to be careful when you've got a problem with parasites in the body that you don't go too hard out right from day one. Okay? No need to be a superhero. Okay? To be a Bruce Willis in Die Hard or you know, one of those Mad Max guys and go for like hardcore because you're going to feel pretty bad. I've seen grown men cry, okay, really get real sick and really upset because they went hard out and they thought, I can handle this stuff. If one tablet's good, give me 50, okay? And then within three days, they were vomiting and diarrhea and bad headaches. So go easy. If you've done an assessment, because I spoke just previously in a parasite, you know, best parasite um, ever cleanse video, I spoke about assessment. If you've done an assessment, <clears throat> you've determined you've got a major problem with parasites, you need to tread very carefully and treat it with a lot of respect. Okay. So go nice and easy to start with. If you've only got a minor problem, you can generally throw a lot more at it. But if you've got a major problem, you need to get tread more gently. So some of the likely side effects that you're going to experience could be a headache. It could be a weakness and tiredness. It could be bad body odor. It could be bad breath. It could be sleeping disturbances. Some people even report like nightmares or like crazy dreams. Uh, these are all likely possible scenarios from pushing the body too hard. Because <clears throat> when you take substances in, in too high a dose to kill and eradicate parasites, you're going to create a bigger load for the immune system to help to deal with. The immune system in turn will create chemicals to help mop up the damage. And these chemicals can create a whole bunch of different types of side effects that you don't even want to know about. So my advice is to go nice and easy, it's a little bit like a swimming pool. You're coming up to a pool. <clears throat> are you going to jump right in because you don't know what the temperature of the water is like? Or are you going to put your little toe in first and then your foot and then think carefully about it before you lower yourself in the water? Or are you just going to jump right in? So take it nice and easy. You've got plenty of time. Right? Plenty of time. So when you do these things beforehand, you're going to save yourself a lot of tragedy down the road. So I hope that makes sense to you. Thanks for tuning in.